Hi, fifth graders. Today we are talking about lesson one of the fifth grade textbook, God the Creator. George and Sarah are cousins. They are both in fifth grade and they love playing games outside. George likes soccer and Sarah likes dancing. They both love going to church every Sunday. Sarah and George are outside. Hi, George. Look at all these big apple trees. Hi, Sarah. Wow, all those red apples look really delicious. Do you remember from last week who created all these apples? Oh, yeah. It was God who created everything. Right. He created the heavens and the earth and all things in it. At the end of creation, he created man in his own image and likeness. Yes, he created me and you too. Grandpa walks by and sees Sarah and George. Hi Sarah, hi George. What are you both doing? We are enjoying all these amazing trees that God created. Great! We must not just enjoy, but should take care of everything that he created. Come, let's go inside so that I can tell you a new story. Inside the house. Do you both know who the first parents are? It was Adam and Eve. Good job, George. Do you know where they lived? I think they lived in the Garden of Eden. Wow, you're right, Sarah. God made Adam and Eve live in the Garden of Eden. God only had one rule for Adam and Eve. God said, you may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall die. So they could eat from any tree? in the garden except that one tree that's right george now in that garden there was a big snake the snake went to eve and convinced her to eat from that one tree that god told her to not eat from the snake said you will not die for god knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like god knowing good and evil now, do you think that Eve took a bite of the apple from that tree? I think that she took a bite from that apple and disobeyed God's law. Unfortunately, Eve did take a bite from that apple, and she also told Adam to take a bite from the apple too. So they both took a bite from that apple? They both broke God's rule? That's right, George. Adam and Eve both disobeyed God. Right after they took a bite from the apple, their eyes opened. They knew that they are naked and tried to sew fig leaves together as clothes. Was God really mad at Adam and Eve? Well, when Adam and Eve saw that God was coming, they tried to hide from God. God found them hiding in the trees. Since Adam and Eve disobeyed God's commandment, they committed the first sin. God kicked them both out of the Garden of Eden. So Adam and Eve got in trouble because they committed sin? Instead of believing God, Adam and Eve believed in the serpent. They wanted to obey their own will instead of following God's rules. This sin of Adam and Eve caused separation between God and them. It also caused separation between Adam and Eve. So we should never disobey God's commandments and not sin? That's right, George. We should never disobey God's rules. If we do sin, we should ask for forgiveness and tell God that we are sorry. Thanks, Grandpa. I love that story. I am happy you like that story. 
Now, let's get ready to go to Sunday school and then celebrate Holy Corbono. At Sunday school class. Father Tom, our grandpa told us the story about the sin of our first parents, Adam and Eve. That's great, George. Do you both also know the story about their children, Cain and Abel? No, Father Tom. Can you please tell us that story? Of course I can. Cain and Abel were brothers. Cain was a farmer and Abel was a shepherd. Abel and Cain both offered sacrifices to God. What is a sacrifice? A sacrifice is a special offering to God. Cain offered only a small part of his big harvest. Abel offered the firstlings of his flock. God loved Abel's wholehearted offering, but was not pleased with Cain's offerings. Cain got so angry that he killed Abel. God then punished Cain for killing Abel. So Cain committed sin too? Yeah. Cain committed sin, too. So Cain was a sinner, and his parents, Adam and Eve, were sinners, too? Yes, George. Thus, the sin of the first parents got passed down onto generations. Was God mad at the human mankind? Yes, Sarah. He was so upset with humankind and destroyed them through a great flood. He only saved one family from the flood. Do you remember who it was? I know. It was Noah and his family, because they obeyed God's commandments. That's right, George. God formed a whole new generation through Noah. They spread all over the earth. There was only one language and one mode of speech. So everything was back to normal as in the beginning? Yes, it was. But eventually, people started to rely less on God and went astray from Him. They started to build a city and a tower to keep their name and fame forever. Their pride and self-reliance led them deeper into sin. What did God do to them? Well, God started to scatter the people all over and confuse their language so that no one could understand each other. There was a lot of confusion amongst the people. The place where the tower stood was called Babel. Do you know what Babel means? I think it means confusion. That's right, Sarah. Did you both like that story? Yes, Father Tom. We love hearing that story. Do you know what the basis of sin is? No. The basis of sin is the greed of the creature to be like the Creator. Even though man sinned, God continued to reveal his love through Abraham, son of Terah. Can you guess in whose genealogy Abraham belongs? Is it Noah? Correct. Do you know what happens when we sin? Yeah, we inflict pain on God. Correct. When we sin, we inflict pain on God, and we cause grief to our soul, which God has given us. Now remember, do not sin and live as obedient children of God. Do you think that both of you can do that? Yes, yes we can, we do, can that. do that. Perfect. Now it's time to memorize today's Bible verse and review some questions. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Questions. What did God command to Adam and Eve? What was the reason for Eve to trespass the command of God? What happened to Adam and Eve who trespassed the command of God?
Why do Cain kill Abel? All right, children. As this week's activity, please reflect on one of the instances where man's greed and pride led to sin in this chapter. Compare this instance to a sin that happens today. Write down and email it to the teacher before next Sunday school. Now let's go inside the church and worship God before going home. O oh Lord, have mercy on me according to your steadfast love. Make me holy, O oh my Lord. Forgive my iniquities in your bene benevolence. O oh Lord, make me worthy of your blessings and forgiveness of sins. Wipe away from me all evil thoughts and decisions of the mind, O oh Lord. Save me from the deceits of Satan. Come on, Sarah and George. Now that Holy Corbono is over, we should go home. Yay! It's, it's time, time for lunch, lunch and ice cream. See you next week, children. Don't forget to pray to God daily, to memorize the Bible verse, and to do the activities. <laughs>